Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo44. I'm here tonight with Missionary Kid, uh, his Nick for on the Underground Bunker. Most people know him as that, right? Yes, so, yeah. exactly. Uh, we had a great time this afternoon. Uh, we thought it was going to be fairly good. Uh, one thing before we before I go on, because a lot of these guys don't know this, but if you don't, you can join in on this. At the Underground Bunker, um, Tony Ortega has written this book, The Unbreakable Miss Lovely, which I've made some videos about. But he has a contest on what, what exactly is the contest? Basically, you know, different places to have the book placed uh, that are fun. That are fun, right. They, they had one at the Eiffel Tower. What are some of them? Uh, they've had them in, uh, uh, in art uh, galleries. Art galleries. They've had them all over the world. Okay, so we decided let's hit Hollywood, right? And we had more fun than I can believe. I mean, honestly, it was so much fun. Because you have to get, we're like, first of all, we just, we started, we get off the subway, we take the subway to Hollywood, and what's our first thing? First thing that we see is a break dancer. Musician. Musician dressed like with an anonymous mask on. <laughs> Which was perfect. So we hold up Miss Lovely, right? We get a picture of him with that. And then, and I'll try to see if I can somehow figure out how to get the some of the photographs in um, if Tony doesn't use them. But uh, if he does, they'll be over at his site. Along Hollywood Boulevard, for those of the, you that don't know, there's all sorts of museums and attractions and everything else for the tourists. And um, so they have things like, you not only have displays or statues of Elvis and... Which of, we got Miss Lovely in Elvis's hand. That's the explained. next place that we want, right. went. And Believe it or not, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Ripley's Believe It or Not, as well as the Museum for Guinness uh, World, of Records. World Records. And Which we got Miss Lovely in that too. And when we went in and we told people what we were doing, they went, all right, we got some high fives at the Ripley's Blue. A lot of, all the way down Hollywood Boulevard, they we just, did. Scientology is not liked no, at all. No. So then we finally get to the testing center. And the funniest thing of all, all we wanted to do, and we thought they were going to give us a hard time. We wanted to just get this photograph next to all their Dianetics books, right? And so... Missionary Kid had the camera, and I was just holding up the book, you know, not me in the picture, you know, just sort of like this with the Dianetics books, and they totally missed it. What did they say about my hair? They said, oh, you, you got to fix your hair. Yeah, you better fix your hair. You know, I guess they thought we were going to be picketing and photographing whatever. Who knows? But they totally missed it. We were taking these photographs all along of all the different books, and finally we got some with the security guard. Well, we, we got that one of some of the staff inside sitting there, right. and, you know, Tori holds this book up, you know, at her back, but you could see her through the uh, through the window. You can see the staff member through the window. Yeah. And um, then we went down Hollywood Boulevard and took pictures at, you know, in front of all these different celebrities. We have a picture of Miss Lovely together with uh, the Marilyn Monroe star on yeah, Hollywood that's right. Boulevard. The two lovely ladies. Two lovely ladies, and. Uh, then we wandered down to a Grauman's Chinese Theater. Oh, that's right. And we got pictures of Miss Lovely <laughs> on Tom Cruise's handprints and name. And then we wandered down to Author, Author Services. Services, which is, whoa, big, <coughs> big time. Which is Just the whole ar printing. Thank you. That's the whole printing arm of Scientology. No, it's not the printing. Printing? Okay. No, no. Oh, Author that's services, right. Yeah. Printing is at Bridge. Yes. Author Services is the uh, fiction. Yeah. Galaxy Press. And so we we got a picture, a bunch of pictures. Great. They had some great pictures of like Hubbard's typewriter, and we got Miss Lovely next to the typewriter and, and the they, microphone. Then had had a diorama of his office. His office. And we got Miss Lovely in the office of Elrod Hubbard. And then we wandered down a little further, and we able. 
the able oh, yeah, the able officer got a picture of that miss lovey is much more able than able right and then we went back around the corner and ran into a couple security guards. which was really funny i mean it was really really funny because they first of all we took some pictures you know i was just like kind of behind his head and taking this picture is very funny and then we um we went to apparently what i've been told is where david miscavige stays when he's here in hollywood and so he took some pictures around his barbed wire fence over the door going it's not into just it. barbed wire it's razor wire razor wire that's right. on top of spikes on top of the fence yeah it's, it's pretty intense so we took those and then we went back to talk to the guards and he said uh, well i don't want to talk to you bring paulette cooper here and i'll talk to her <laughs> <laughs> or like, and, and he said, you don't know. I said, he said, why would you want to talk to me? Why are you doing this at all? And I said, well, you're a security guard for author services. And he goes, you don't know what I'm, what I'm here doing. And I said, well, let me guess. You're here to get an autograph of David Miscavige. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, he was, he was definitely ticked off at me. And he was like, you don't know. And I said, no, actually I do. I was in Scientology for 30 years. I know a lot about what they do here. And I know that you're a security guard. You're in a security guard uniform and you're sitting outside author services. There's probably a very good chance that you're paid to guard author services. And he said, no, you know, I'm not paid by them. Yeah, no, I'm not paid by them. And then his other buddy came powering along and dragged him up and they both went, boring. <laughs> Which is Scientology. Yeah, always attack, response. never defend, right? You know, it's... Yeah. It's it's old news is another one of their Yeah, famous. they didn't know anything. None of them knew anything about this book at all, which is a fantastic book. And when those pictures hit the Internet, uh, I'm willing to bet that everyone will know if somebody shows up with the book <laughs> that they're going to try and block us from taking pictures or anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we kind of nailed it. We really did. We got 20, what, 25 photos? More? No, 30. 30 photos. We got 30 photos that are really, they're all really good. So hopefully, anyway, I'll try to figure out a way to put them on this, but I doubt if I can. I'm still trying to learn how to edit. But we just wanted to share with you what fun we had tonight and what happened. And uh, Tony, or if Tony, Tony Ortega doesn't use them, We'll put, we'll publish them. In yeah, we can places. put them on Facebook and different places. We'll, we'll get them around. They're going to be around. But anyway, hopefully he puts some up on the the underground bunker because they love them too. It was very fun. But we had so much fun. <laughs> it's like pulling a prank and the other person is totally clueless. Clueless. And, and it's something where you know they're going to go, oh, my God, what were you doing? There yeah. You go. There we go. And then... I mean, we stopped and had something to eat, and the waitress, you know, was oh, yeah. telling us how she walks by the uh, testing center, and they're always trying to pull her in, and one time they actually grabbed her arm and tried yeah. to pull her in, and she says, you know, that's weird. Yeah, you know? yeah, every, all along Hollywood Boulevard, people had story. We found all their, you know, a bunch of their personality tests, what do you call it, um, uh, tickets, tickets, and they're on the ground, right? You know, so they're passing these things out. It's just basically trashing all People them. take them to be polite and then pitch them. Yeah, and just pitch them on the ground. So anyway, it was a fun day. We had a good day. And if you're in Scientology and you hear this, you do not have to stay. You, most of the really, really fun and good people are out of Scientology. I know you think they're all in or they died, but they didn't. They're out. We left. A lot of us hundreds and thousands of us and there's people like dan who were never in who are fantastic standing up for us also tony ortega who helped write this book about paulette cooper who is a journalist also these are two real journalists and that was fun to be at author services with the phony journalist l ron hubbard and have the real journalist there so there you go we just wanted to share a little bit of it thank you dan for coming it was <laughs> oh, fun yes. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> that's okay. They know that already. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh oh my God! Oh my God! Laughing out loud. <laughs> All right, peace out. <laughs> Love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you want, join. Come on over to the underground bunker and take some pictures of where you got 
the lovely, unbreakable Miss Lovely to be. All right, there you go. Bye.